Hey guys, Brett and Kyle here with Sashiak Angler TV. Today we're going to do some reviews on a Agua Canyon Boreal 21 uh, bush saw. Pretty cool little gadget. And that goes along with that, pretty much hand in hand, is a good axe. And we got us here a Hulse Brooks Carpenter's Axe. Um, we're going to go through these. We're going to slice up some wood and then we're going to split it up into nice fine stuff and show you. Uh, how to make some little nice curly cues and everything. These things are, are sharp and ready to go. Come along with us. So to start, we're going to start with this uh, Boreal 21 from Agua Canyon. Uh, it's a really compact, fairly small. Uh, as far as its dimensions go, it is long, but it stuffs in under a seat in a pack alongside everything else. They're really easy to set up. First of all, you unfold, unfold the handle back. You pull the blade out from its from its center cartridge. This uh, C channel here is a blade protector. The front folds down. Then you bring the blade and the snap handle uh, into onto the handle. It just sets onto the handle, and then this cams forward and locks into place. And you have a nice tight saw ready for cutting any kind of firewood. All right, we got here. Uh, uh, just an old piece of uh, poplar tree that has fallen down in the woods here. We're going to process it up into some nice kindling and uh, chop into the firewood. I found after using this for a while, I'm used to using wood hand saws and things like that. And you always got to put down pressure. This saw likes it if you just let the pressure of the saw, the weight of the saw, cut through. So you start your start your cut on a backstroke. And just the weight of the straw just mows through, and it it works pretty well. Just again, just let the start start your cut with a back backstroke to give yourself your running guide, and then just the weight of the saw pretty much takes care of everything else as you cut through. Got a couple of nice rounds. It's not super dense wood, but it's good to burn. All right, now we're going to show you the Hulse Brooks Carpenter's Axe. Uh, right out of the package, this is how it comes. It's got a nice little mask sheath. Uh, it fits okay. It protects it. It's riveted on the on the front here, and it has lots of room for the blade, so you're not going to end up gacking up your cutting edge. Uh, I haven't done anything to this at all yet. Uh, it is a good recommendation to make sure that you keep a nice sharp cutting edge. That's your working edge and it has to work well. The other thing is taking care of the handle of the axe. You need to oil these things to keep them so that they don't dry out, check, split, all those kind of things. So I still haven't done that. This is right out of the box. So uh, we're just going to show you a little bit of splitting here. From the rounds that we had from the from the uh, Boreal 21, we uh, don't have any big stuff here to split it on. We'll give this a try. So it's a pretty heavy, pretty heavy duty axe. It's got lots of weight to it, and there's lots of lots of splitting capability. basically splitting it up. And I'll show you the edge right out of the box here. This thing has a phenomenal, a phenomenal sharp. It's almost as sharp as uh, my bushcraft knife. And just taking little cuts and swaths, you can make yourself some nice little curly cues just with your, just with using your axe. Those are all nice little curly cues right off of this poplar. It's a cute little axe. Take good care of your mask. Hang it up, keep it oiled, uh, that way you don't uh, lose it in the woods. It's really easy to set one of those brown things down with a whole bunch of brown. Next thing we're going to do is maybe chop down a tree and see what this thing can do. I've never 
chop a tree down with this axe yet, so it'll be a first go for both of us. Well, we, well guys, we got ourselves this uh, old chunk of caragana here. Uh, we're just in a local bush, so you kind of get the wood that you get. There's poplar and a little bit of spruce in here, but mainly it's just a caragana scrub. I'm going to give this a couple of whacks and we'll see where it goes. That took out a pretty good bite. That's down. Well guys, that wraps it up for me and Kyle. I want you to like, subscribe, and hook onto that notification bell so you get all our latest videos. Again, I'd really like to thank Jonas at Classic Outdoors in Saskatoon. Uh, he's provided these things. Uh, he has them in his store. They're pretty good tools for what you get. And uh, a big thank you to Jonas. He's been a good support to me, my channel, more me personally. Uh, our kayaks also come from his store. So he sells all kinds of camping stuff, snowshoes, uh, which is kind of the wrong time of year for this, but he has all that stuff. Tents, uh, car carriers, you name it. He's got all kinds of stuff in his store that has to do with the outdoors. So thanks again, Jonas. And we just showed you the Boreal 21 and the uh, Hawks Brooks. Oh yeah, Kyle's telling me that we're going to link uh, Jonas's store, Classic Outdoors, in Saskatoon. We're going to put a link down at the bottom here somewhere and you can go directly to his website and check him out. So again, thanks a lot guys, and you have a good time.